she turned and, and shot me. That was Phil Andrew 30 years ago after he was shot in the chest by a mentally ill woman who barged into his family home with a gun in each hand. Moments earlier, that same woman had just shot six children at a Winneka grade school, killing an eight-year-old boy, all of which was unknown to Andrew at the time. I couldn't believe that I was trying to help someone that had shot five people, six people, two blocks from my house. This happened when I was 20 years old. Um, my goals back when I was 20 was being the best swimmer I could be. Um, this has shaped my life. Andrew went on to have a successful career in the FBI, but is troubled. School shootings persist, 22 this year alone. It's tragic that the things that happened 30 years ago in Winnetka that were a foreshadowing of the things to come. Just this week, 10 people were killed at a school in Santa Fe, Texas, and a potential tragedy averted at Dixon High School. Nobody's talking about taking guns away from people. We're talking about very um, practical, effective things like universal background checks, red flag laws that take guns away from dangerous people.